coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Draco Aircraft gears up for new Hyperstole. Coming very soon, Starship 6 test flight. Concern expressed over new Piper AD. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Draco Aircraft gears up for new Hyper Stole. Draco Aircraft is aiming to raise $4.5 million to fund the development of its hyper-short takeoff and landing device, the Draco. This aircraft is a reinvention of the out-of-production PZL-104 Wilga. Airbus Poland ceased production of the Wilga Stoll utility aircraft in 2006 and signed over rights in September. Draco Aircraft will now be able to produce the next-gen turbine-powered version, dubbed Draco. The manufacturer hopes to bring the development to the market in 2028. The Draco's initial modification, completed by Mike Patey, who reports that he is not part of this effort outside of his appreciation for what they are trying to do, was first introduced at the 2018 EAA Oshkosh Air Venture. Though the original design was destroyed in an accident, it logged impressive performance characteristics. It has a takeoff distance of less than 100 feet, a stall speed of just 38 knots, and a climb rate of 4,000 feet per minute. It will be powered by a Pratt & Whitney PT6A turboprop and a 102-inch 5-blade MT propeller. Drago plans to combine the original Wilga design with Patey's updates to apply for Part 23 type certification with the ASA and the FAA, with additional support from the Polish Institute of Aviation. After the break, X-59 fires up systems prior to first flight. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows actually, so ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. X-59 fires up systems prior to first flight. NASA's Quest mission marked a major milestone with the start of tests on the engine that will power the quiet supersonic X-59 experimental aircraft. These engine run tests, which begin October 30th, allow the X-59 team to verify the aircraft systems are working together while powered by its own engine. In previous tests, the X-59 used external sources for power. The engine run test set the stage for the next phase of the experimental aircraft's progress towards flight. Falkland Islands places order for four BN2B-26 Islanders. The Falkland Islands government signed a letter of intent to purchase four Britain Norman BN2B-26 Islanders on November 7th. The $9.75 million deal marks the 75th anniversary of operations for the Falkland Islands government aviation services. The order is part of an effort to modernize and expand its fleet. The organization contracted Britain Norman to build two Islanders in 2019, one of which has since been delivered. Plain Thief pleads no contest to felony charge. Luis Gustavo Erez, also known as Sunrock, has pleaded no contest to a felony charge for the theft of an airplane from Palo Alto Airport. Final sentencing is slated for December 6th. Erez is accused of stealing a small aircraft valued at around $150,000. After learning that it had not been refueled, he executed an unplanned landing on a Half Moon Bay beach. The aircraft nosed over into the sand and received significant damage. The San Mateo County Sheriff's Office responded to the scene and arrested a man fitting ERA's description. CAE launches Prodigy to civil aviation market. CAE has begun delivery of its full flight sims equipped with an ultra realistic 3D visual system using gaming technology the CAE Prodigy Image Generator. 
CAE Prodigy is now available on new FFS for all commercial and business aircraft models and is also available as an upgrade on FFS already in service. The image generator provides an immersive and ultra-realistic training experience. With the release of Prodigy, CAE becomes the first simulation and training organization to integrate a gaming engine into its visual system and gain Level D qualification from Transport Canada. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Coming very soon, Starship 6th Flight Test. Despite the usual delays associated in dealing with the FAA and other impediments, such as the Eco Lobby, SpaceX is ready to take its next step on the way to Mars. The sixth flight test of Starship is targeted to launch as early as Monday, November 18th, one week from today. Starship's fifth flight test was reportedly a seminal moment in iterating towards SpaceX's aggressive target of building a fully and rapidly reusable launch system. On the first attempt, the Super Heavy booster successfully returned to the launch site and was caught by the chopstick arms of the Launch and Catch Tower at Starbase. Starship's upper stage went on to demonstrate several improvements, resulting in a controlled entry and high-accuracy splashdown at the targeted area in the Indian Ocean. The next Starship flight test aims to expand the envelope on ship and booster capabilities and get closer to bringing reuse of the entire system online. Objectives include the booster once again returning to the launch site for catch, reigniting a ship Raptor engine while in space, and testing a suite of heat shield experiments and maneuvering changes for ship reentry and descent over the Indian Ocean. After these messages, concern expressed over new Piper AD. of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name, an indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. Welcome back. Concern expressed over new Piper AD. The EAA recently submitted comments to the FAA regarding its recent airworthiness directive pitches for the Piper PA-28 and PA-32. The two proposals would expand the number of aircraft requiring wing spar checks and reformulate inspection timing. The first suggested AD is FAA 2024-2142, which alters the calculations to time the eddy current inspections of lower main wing spar bolt holes. The result may require aircraft owners to repair or replace cracked spars. 10,665 aircraft, including the popular PA-28-181 Archer II and the PA-32-260 Cherokee 6 models, are included in the proposal. The second AD, FAA 2024-2143, would require maintenance records to be reviewed to see if the lower main wing spar bolt holes were inspected. If not, upon reaching 12,000 hours in service, the aircraft must have a one-time ECI of the lower wing spar bolt holes to look for cracking and determine if a repair or replacement is necessary. This impacts 10,927 planes, like the PA-28-180 Cherokee and the PA-32R-300 Cherokee Lance. Comments for both of these ADs closed in early November, one on the 4th and the other on the 7th. Aircraft owners are rightfully frustrated with the proposals, and the EAA chose to speak up on their behalf. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.